If you've ever had the opportunity to visit the Black Hills of South Dakota during the summer months, you may have noticed a vast number of motorcycles. Often, those motorcyclists ride together in groups. There's a little known code among groups of motorcyclists, and that code helps enhance safety and streamline communication. That code is the hand signal. In this video, we'll cover several hand signals, some well known and some lesser known. Hi, I'm Jacob. I travel for a living and ride motorcycles for fun. Ride along as my dad and I explore the lesser known roads of Western South Dakota. Riding in a group, while exciting, requires special attention. The leader must be able to communicate to the rest of the group while riding. One way this is done is through a set standard of hand signals. Today we'll demonstrate the most common hand signals you can use to communicate with your group, or another group for that matter. While this is not an exhaustive list, it contains some of the most common. The first signal you may encounter on the road is the left turn signal. This signal is accomplished with your left hand extended and the palm facing down. The related signal is the right turn. This is accomplished by raising your left hand at a 90 degree angle with the fist clenched. The last of the basic signals is the stop sign. This is done by extending your left arm down at a 90 degree angle with your palm facing backward. Different road conditions and speed limits may require a speed change. If a change of speed is desired by the leader, this can be signaled to the rest of the group. To signal a slowdown, extend the left arm out with the palm facing down while swinging in a downwards motion. To signal an increase of speed, extend the left arm out with the palm facing up, swinging in an upwards motion. Motorcycles need to give extra attention to the hazards that may be in or on the road. The next series of signals covers how to point out those hazards to fellow riders. A hazard on the left is indicated by pointing at the hazard with your left hand. Index finger extended. The hazard on the right is signaled by extending your right foot towards the hazard. The Black Hills of South Dakota have many scenic areas. On occasion, the leader may notice one and instruct the group to pull off. The pull off signal is accomplished by pointing your left index finger out to the side and swinging it in an arc over your head. Other times, the group leader may want to take a break and allow another rider to lead the group. These next signals will allow an easy change between ride leaders. To signal, come around and take the lead. Simply point your left index finger outward, swinging it in an arc from back to front, motioning another to take the lead. Once the other rider takes the lead, he can simply signal to the group by raising his left arm extended straight up with the palm facing forward, as if to ask a question. Some of the roads in the Black Hills can be a little challenging. As such, it is often safer to ride in a staggered formation. 
If the leader notices bikes close together, he may indicate to the group to ride staggered. This is accomplished by holding the left arm up at 90 degrees with the index and pinky finger extended. Motorcycle rides often cover vast distances with miles between gas stations. If a rider requires fuel, he can indicate this to the group. This signal is done simply by pointing to the gas tank. Riding for long periods of time can be fatiguing. If a member of your group requires a break, he can signal for a comfort stop. A comfort stop is indicated by extending the left arm with a clenched fist. Make short up and down motions like you're knocking on a door. Staying hydrated while riding is also important. To indicate a refreshment stop, hold your closed fist to your mouth with your thumb extended like you're taking a drink. If a member of your group or another motorcyclist has left their blinker on, you can indicate this to them by extending your arm out while opening and closing your hand. While this is not an extensive list of hand signals, it should give your group a starting point for the most common signals before you hit the road. Whether you live here, whether you're visiting for Sturgis or just riding through, you're likely to find other motorcycle riders ready to give you a friendly wave. The most common motorcycle wave is simply taking your index and middle finger and pointing them downwards. It simply says, hello, keep the rubber side down. While there are many ways to say hello to another rider, the message is the same, ride safely and have fun.